Hello, this is another video brought to you by FlipWebsites.com, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your own real-time Flippa alerts. So let's go over to Flippa.com, and I just want to show you what your current options are in terms of setting up your own you know, search alerts or, or search parameters at Flippa. If we go to the Buy a Website um, button here and click on that, and over here you have the various search criteria that you can plug in and then when you set your criteria you can go over here and you can save the search and that's and you're creating your own custom search and the way that works is then when you log into your Flippa account you can go to your custom searches click on the various searches that you've set up and then you'll get the the results for that search now it's a great function, but the problem is if I have a certain type of site I'm looking for, I would have to log into Flippa periodically throughout the day and run those custom searches. I'd have to click on those custom searches, and that's kind of a pain. The other option is I can take those custom searches and I can have them emailed to me daily, uh, but the problem with that is you only get it once a day, and so you can miss out on a lot of uh, listings from one day to the next. Then the third option is you can subscribe to your custom searches via an RSS feed, and that is where the magic is in creating these uh, real-time flip alerts that I'm going to show you. But this isn't this is going to be uh, unique in that we're not going to be subscribing via you know your traditional RSS reader like a Google reader. Instead, we're going to use a simple RSS reader, and what it will do is it's going to display in real time listings that we're searching for that that match our criteria it's going to display it right within our Firefo firefox browser so as we are you know working online and and going about our daily business we'll be able to just monitor our browser and we'll see in real time any listings that come on flippa that match our criteria and this is going to give you a leg up on your competition because the minute something lists that that matches your criteria, you're going to be able to go and, and place a bid or, or go buy the website. So let me show you how this works. What you're going to be doing is uh, using an add-on called Simple RSS Reader. So we'll go up here to Tools, go to Add-ons, and we'll click on Get Add-ons, and we're going to search for Simple RSS Reader, and it's uh, right here and we're going to click add to Firefox and we're going to install now and then restart Firefox and now it should be installed and now we're going to head back over to Flippa now we're going to click on buy a website and now we're going to go over here to the search parameters, and now we're going to set up our first alert. Now you can set up as many of these as you want, but I'll just do one here for uh, demonstration purposes. So let's just say I, I want a site, let's go over here, traffic statistics. I want a site that gets at least 1,500 visitors a month up to, I'm just going to keep it you know, really high. I just want you know, 75,000. And really what I'm looking for here is I just want a site that gets at least 1,500 um, uh, visitors. And I don't know if I can leave this blank and catch everything over 1,500. That You might be able to do that, and you could certainly test that out. I, I've never done that. I just throw in a, a really high number. And then let's say I want it to net at least um, $75 a month. And again, I don't know if you can just leave this blank and it will catch everything over 75, but I usually just throw in a, a, a high number. Let's just do 50,000. And then we're going to go down here to the auction status. You want to make sure still open is selected and featured listings only is selected. These are the only two options that will show you live auctions. The rest of these are all closed um, listings, so you, you obviously don't want to have any of those selected. And then you're going to hit Update Search. And there are 43 listings that match my criteria. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to subscribe to this search.
And live bookmarks should be the default. If it's not, just click on this and scroll down until you see it. Make sure live bookmarks is selected and you're going to hit subscribe now. And then right here is where you can name your alert. And I'm just going to call mine main, let's just call it main flip a search. And then in the folder, you want to make sure bookmarks toolbar is selected. If it's not, just click on this arrow here and make sure bookmarks toolbar is selected and then hit subscribe. And when you do that, you'll notice right here, well, one other step here, you want to go into view toolbars, you want to make sure bookmarks toolbar is selected and then simple RSS reader is selected. So you want to make sure those two are selected. And when you do that, you will see the RSS uh, feed right here in your browser. Now yours might be somewhere else up in here depending on how you organize all your, your stuff in your browser, but I have mine displaying right here. And now what you have is um, a real-time Flippa alert for the types of websites you're looking to purchase as they get listed on Flippa. And if you click here, there's the, 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 the one alert we set up, but you might have several. And if you click over here, there are the, how many did we say, 43 listings? Uh, there are the 43 listings. And then what you can do too is if you go here into preferences, you can change the scrolling timing of the listings that occur right here. I like to keep it really high. I have it 60 seconds because I don't, it's kind of annoying for this to constantly be changing on me. But if you want it to scroll through the, the RSS feed, you can just change that. At the end, it's right here. You just change that from 60 seconds to, you know, whatever you wanted. You turn it to 10 seconds, 5 seconds, whatever. Um, and what this does is then when you look at this, the most current listings on Flippa that match your criteria are on the top. So anything new that gets listed that matches your criteria will, will display at the very top of the list here. And again, if you have this thing scrolling through, let's say every 10 seconds, what it does is it's just scrolling through each one of these every 10 seconds. Um, uh, what else do I have to show you? Oh yeah, one other thing too with this. Um, when you list a website for sale on Flippa, you as, an, as a seller have the option of listing it publicly, publicly which means Anybody that goes to Flippa can, can see your auction without logging in, or you can list it as a private sale, which means you only want people that are logged into Flippa to see your auction listing. Well, this RSS feed only pulls, if you're not logged into Flippa, it's only going to pull the public listings, and you don't want that because a lot of times sellers that have premium websites for sale will list them privately, and obviously you want to... You want you know when those listings show up. So what you want to do, it's kind of a pain, but you only have to do it once, is log into Flippa and then just stay logged in um, for the duration of the day. And what I do is the first thing in the morning when I start up my computer, I go into Flippa, I log in, and then I just, you know, you can exit out of Flippa, just don't log out of Flippa, but just close the window. And then you can go about your, your daily business. And then Moving forward, this RSS feed will pull both the public and the private listings. But that's very important that you do that because you could be missing a handful of private sales uh, every day with these alerts if you're not logged in. So there you have it. It's a pretty quick, simple, and easy way of uh, setting up your own real-time flip of alerts, and it will definitely give you a leg up on your competition.